Hi, my name is Tina Cho, and I'm the author of this book, The Ocean Calls, A Henyo Mermaid Story, and it was illustrated by Jess X. Snow, published by Coppola, uh, an imprint of Penguin Random House. And this book came out last summer of 2020, and um, I was living in South Korea. Do you know where that is? It is a country on the other side of the world from Iowa and it's close to Japan. And while I was living there for the past 10 years, I heard about these granny divers off the island of Jeju. Jeju is a small island on the southern tip of South Korea. And these um, women divers dive into the ocean without any breathing equipment. And they stay under the ocean for about two minutes and they catch all sorts of sea creatures like octopus, sea cucumbers, sea snails, uh, seaweed, and then they sell their catch and they cook it and they've been doing this for hundreds of years. And so I thought these women were fascinating because most of them are between the ages of 50 to 80 years old. Now, I don't know about you, but my grandma doesn't go diving in the ocean. So I wanted to see um, these women up close. So the last two years during my spring break, my family and I flew to Jeju and I got to meet them and watch them dive. So it was really fascinating. And I thought boys and girls in America and all around the world should hear about these women called Henya. So that's why I wrote this book called the ocean calls and in my story is a little girl named Diane and she wants to be a henyo like her grandmother. Okay, so let's begin. The ocean calls. Diane and grandma stretched and watched the sun's first rays kiss the sea. The ocean is calling me today, said grandma. I must dive. I want to be a henyo like you, said Diane. You're like a treasure hunting mermaid. But then Diane remembered the time she jumped off the big rock last summer while visiting grandma. Water had filled her ears and nose, burned her eyes and stung her skin. And worse, the deep ocean where grandma swam was full of sharks and other scary creatures. Diane shivered. You can't grow into a mermaid if you don't finish your abalone porridge, said Grandma. Diane held the shimmery blue abalone shell and rubbed her fingers over its holes. Grandma cleaned and boiled the shellfish from her catch to sell. But this porridge she had saved just for Diane. As Grandma washed the dishes, she and Diane practiced holding their breath. One, two, three, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Diane let the air escape in a long sigh. Grandma squeezed Diane's hand. Don't worry, I learned to be a henya from my mother, and now I will teach you. After breakfast, Grandma put on sunscreen, a diving suit, flippers, a lead belt, and a mask. Diane put on sunscreen, a suit, flippers, goggles, and a snorkel. Grandma carried her tools to pluck treasures from the sea. Diane carried hers to pluck treasures from the shore. Together they sang a henyo song. I eat wind instead of rice, take the waves as my home. On the sand, the henyo tromped, clumsy in their flippers. But as soon as they dove, splash, they swam like mermaids. Diane sat back, feeling like a beached urchin. She wiggled her toes in the tide pool. Grandma popped out of the water, whistling as she let out her held-in breath. Hooey! Again and again, the henyo dove and came back up for air. The sea breeze carried the sound of their whistling. Diane climbed onto her lookout rock. A shell gleamed under the water. She jumped in to grab it. As the water circled her waist, she shuddered and gasped. That's when Grandma's voice echoed in her head. She said not to be afraid. The ocean is your home. Know the sea and find its gifts. Diane looked around at the other girls giggling in the shallow water. She took a deep breath of hope and unclenched her fists. 
The waves rushed around her ears, but she relaxed when she felt the soft touch of sea anemone at her fingertips. Maybe I could swim deeper. After collecting 10 sea gifts, Diane heard singing as the orange globes of the Hanyo's nets floated closer like a giant setting sun. Grandma and the others swam back. Diane rolled brown nets up the shore. I found pretty pebbles and shells, said Diane. Beautiful, said Grandma. Now are you ready to dive with me? Diane set her bucket on a flat rock and looked at the sea. She gulped. What if I can't breathe? What if a shark comes? What if I can't escape? Grandma sang. Can't you hear what the waves are saying? They're calling to us to come home. Grandma, Diane looked into Grandma's sweet eyes, swallowed her fears and nodded. Side by side, they walked. When Diane could no longer feel the ocean bottom, she locked hands with Grandma. Take a deep breath, calm your mind, and then we'll dive. Down, down, Diane and Grandma dove, but Diane swam right back up. Diane whistled as she let out her breath. Hooey! Too quick, said Grandma. Relax, explore. Down, down, down they went. This time, Diane held her breath longer. Seaweed swayed with the current. Colorful fish darted by. She pointed to a garden of sparkling treasures. Suddenly, Grandma pulled her up, up, up. Hooey, hooey, they both whistled. Dolphins, Grandma pointed. Dolphins bring hungry sharks. Diane's heart beat faster. She kicked with all her might. What if they couldn't escape? Her arms felt like the lead weights in Grandma's belt. She swam to a nearby boat. A henyo waited to lift her to safety, and that's when Diane remembered her wish. Diane shivered in Grandma's warm embrace. We work together to keep each other safe. You were brave, Diane. You'll be a fine henya someday. But Grandma, I didn't catch anything. Oh, but you did find treasure. Grandma opened her hand and gave Diane a sparkling turban shell. Diane's thumb followed the curve of the shell spiral. She smiled. For the first time, she felt at home in the sea. And in the end, I wrote facts about the henyo. So boys and girls, you might not have a grandparent who dives into the ocean, but you might have grandparents or great grandparents or know of an elderly person that you could learn a tradition from. So it's great to spend time with elderly people. So this is a story of the ocean called the end. <laughs>